Hello everyone welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment and subscribe so that we keep producing this kind of a content. Did you know that, like oil and natural gas, coal is a fossil fuel and it started forming over 350 million years ago through the transformation of organic plant matter? Stay tuned to hear more about this interesting topic. Coal is highly carbonaceous fossil fuel that has been produced as a result of vegetable debris under favorable conditions of high temperature and pressure over millions of years. It is chiefly composed of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen besides non-combustible inorganic matter. Coal is also called black gold. This is found mainly in sedimentary strata, that is, layers of soil. Coal contains carbon, volatile matter, moisture and ash. However in some cases, coal may contain sulfur and phosphorus mostly used for power generation and metallurgy. Coal reserves are six times greater than oil and petroleum reserves. Barks, tree ferns, great horsetails, and giant club mosses are all vegetation through which coal can form from. Two major environments for coal formation include marsh and swamp environments. A marsh environment is a wetland which is characterized by mineral soils which are poorly drained, and plant life composed of mainly grasses. This environment is constantly flooded with water from specific source. A swamp environment on the other hand is characterized by the abundance of trees. This is defined as wetland which is characterized by waterlogged soils which are interspersed with areas of dry land. Coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock with a high amount of carbon and hydrocarbons. Coal is classified as a non-renewable energy source because it takes millions of years to form. Coal formed millions of years ago when the earth was covered with huge swampy or marshy forests where plants giant ferns and mosses grew. These environments comprises stagnant water. Unlike moving water in rivers, this stagnant water has less oxygen content. As the plants grew, some died and fell into the swamp waters. New plants grew up to take their places and when these dies still more grew. In time, there was thick layer of dead plants rotting in the swamp. Due to plate tectonics, the earth crust was uplifted, providing source of sediments to the swamp. Therefore, as the surface of the earth changed, water and dirt washed in, stopping the decaying process. More plants grew up, but they too died and fell, forming separate layers. After millions of years many layers had formed, one in top of the other. The weight of the top layers and the water and dirt packed down the lower layers of plant matter. Heat and pressure produced chemical and physical changes in the plant layers which forced out oxygen and left rich carbon deposits. In time, material that had been plants became coal. Coals are mainly classified on the basis of their degree of coalification from the parent material, wood. When wood is converted into coal, there is gradual increase in the concentration of carbon and decrease in the percentage of oxygen and nitrogen. Coal is given ranking depending upon the carbon content of the coal from wood to anthracite. First stage of transformation include peat formation. Peat contains less than 40 to 50 percent of carbon and lot of impurities such as hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and sulfur. It contains sufficient volatile matter and lot of moisture content. This gives the peat characteristic of producing more smoke and pollution during its burning. This coal burns like wood, gives less heat and emit more smoke and leaves a lot of ash. As pressure and temperatures increases due to the weight of the overlying layers, peat can be converted into lignite coal. This type of a coal is defined as a brown coal with low grade. It comprises 40 to 55 percent of carbon with a moisture of about over 35 percent. This type of a coal undergoes spontaneous combustion. This is a type of combustion which happens with or without the influence of an individual. As a result, a lot of fire accidents are created in the mines. Subituminous coal and bituminous coals are used mainly for power generation, cement manufacturing and industrial purposes. Subituminous is used as fuel for steam electric power generation and is an important source of light aromatic hydrocarbons for the chemical synthesis industry. Bituminous coal derives its name after a liquid called bitumen and has carbon content between 40 to 80 percent. The moisture and volatile content is between 15 and 40 percent. It is dense, compact and usually black in color without traces of vegetable material. This coal has a high calorific value due to high proportion of carbon and low moisture. The last high-ranked or grade coal is termed anthracite. This coal has a very little moisture and volatile content but with high proportion of carbon content. It has semi-metallic luster and it ignites slowly. This means it loses heat slowly. This coal ignites slowly and burns with a nice short blue flame. Thus, complete combustion. It has little or no pollutants. Two types of coals include, coking coal and thermal or steaming coal. Coking coal is used to make coke, which is an ingredient in iron and steel production. 
The steel production is used in millions of items such as cars, trucks, fire engines, refrigerators and bridges and many others. Metallurgical coke is produced by destructive distillation of coal in coke ovens. Prepared coal is coked, or heated in an oxygen-free atmosphere until all volatile components in the coal evaporate. The material remaining is called coke. The coke can also be used for many industrial purposes. This is an important ingredient in plastics, explosives, dyes, pitch, ammonia, medicines, aspirin, soap, disinfectant and detergents. It can also be useful for cosmetics, synthetic rubber, fertilizers, cement, bricks, baking powder, batteries, sugar substitutes, perms, tiles and many others. In steel industry coke is an essential fuel and reducing agent in the manufacturing of iron and steel through the blast furnace process. The high carbon content and low impurities make coking coal ideal for this purpose, as it can provide the necessary heat and chemical reactions during the steel making process. Steam coal is mainly used for electricity generation in power plants. It is burned in boilers to produce steam, which drives turbines connected to generators, producing electricity. The lower carbon content and higher impurities are acceptable in this context, as the focus is on generating heat rather than producing high-quality coke. When making an electricity from coal, black or brown coal is dug up from the ground and sent to the electricity plant. The coal is crushed and burnt in an enormous combustion chamber. As the coal burns, it produces heat which is then used to boil water creating steam. The extremely hot steam rushes past an enormous turbine, turning its massive fan blades in the process. The spinning turbine is connected to a generator by a long metal pole called a drive shaft. The spinning turbines turns the drive shaft which activates the generator, causing the electrons to flow. Flow electrons is referred to as electricity. The electricity then moves along power lines to our respective houses. In South Africa, coal is not only used for electricity generation but also a diverse range of products can be derived from coal. Coal is also used to produce liquid fuels and non-energy coal products such as chemicals. Thank you for joining us today.